Have you ever imagined what it would be like to find yourself in a place that just doesn't make sense? Perhaps time passes more slowly, gravity is skewed, or doors open into unexpected places. Well, thanks to video games, you don't have to imagine what that would feel like, as you can experience it for yourself. In the unfettered world of video games, there are some places that break the established rules of the game's setting, and are often isolated, confusing and disorienting, as well as being home to the most unusual creatures and characters. This video will be a journey of the strange and bizarre, a delve into places that could not exist, an exploration beyond the confines of the real world. We hope you've got your spooky wooky hats on. Fair warning, this subject matter has resulted in a few spoilers showing up throughout the list, so if you see a game that you don't want spoiled, best to close your eyes and stick your fingers in your ears for a bit. All good? Right, I'm Ashton from Triple Jump, and here are 10 bizarre locations that defy the laws of reality. Number 10. The Lost Woods, The Legend of Zelda series Have you ever been lost in the woods? felt the sense of dread and panic as all sense of direction is gone, and an impenetrable cluster of trees, shrubs and brambles just seems to stretch on forever. Have you ever walked for miles thinking you're making progress just to realise you've gone in a circle? Link has, on multiple occasions actually. The trope of a maze-like forest that immediately sends you back to the start if you make a wrong turn, no matter how far you've progressed, is nothing new for video games. However, The Legend of Zelda series has arguably the most iconic example of this panic-inducing situation. In Breath of the Wild, The Lost Woods takes the form of a dimly lit, foggy grove punctuated by flickering torches. If Link strays too far into the fog, he'll get lost and somehow emerge right back at the start. In Ocarina of Time, the woods are equally as atmospheric and otherworldly, despite the graphical limitations. This is probably mostly thanks to its eerily cheery music, but the rumour that those who become lost in this leafy labyrinth end up as skull kids helps the creepy factor too. Jaunty tunes aside, no one wants that. Number 9. Empire Porky Building, Mother 3 during the runtime of Nintendo's quirky Game Boy Advance RPG Mother 3, players find themselves in New Pork City. Built by the Pig Mask Army, this exciting metropolis is a testament to their glorious rule. It also contains the Empire Porky Building, the city's most prominent landmark. But it's just a skyscraper, right? What's it doing on this list? There's nothing reality-defying about a tall building. Well, there is something strange going on with the Empire Porky building, and we're not exactly sure what. Standing at 100 stories, it's pretty tall as far as skyscrapers go, but it's when you start to explore inside that the strangeness ensues. A floor consisting entirely of bathrooms, all right, that's kind of odd. A floor devoted only to bizarre sideshow games, that's somewhat unexpected, I suppose. A floor that consists solely of a lake full of basking hippos. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna leave now, I think. To add to the strangeness, after the initial trip to the concert hall on the 24th floor, the protagonist will attempt to go to floor 100, only every time they tell the elevator to take them there, it takes them to one of the other nonsensical floors instead. This means that either there's some kind of spatial distortion going on where every floor is floor 100, or the elevator has a mind of its own. Either way, this is no ordinary high rise. Number 8. Dracula's Castle, the Castlevania series Referred to in-game as a creature of chaos, Dracula's castle has appeared in various different forms throughout the Castlevania series. As if a vampire lord's castle filled with undead creatures, poltergeists and various terrifying bosses wasn't enough, the place is also rife with disorientating and intimidating architecture, and a gloomy gothic ambiance awaits anyone brave enough to venture inside. So far so spooky, but nothing too far outside the realms of possibility. Until, that is, celebrated PS one entry Castlevania Symphony of the Night takes things up a level. Partway through the game, an ominous inverted version of the castle descends from a mass of swirling clouds. Protagonist Alucard now has to navigate the great vampire's abode while the whole thing is upside down, producing such mind-bending effects as pools of water suspending in air and staircases that look like MC Escher illustrations. I wonder if it's Dracula's influence, or if any building can develop such a sinister and vindictive sapience in the right circumstances. I mean, did I slip on my stairs when I was getting ready for work this morning because I'm clumsy, or is my house out to get me? It's probably the first one, but I might stay in a hotel for a few days just in case. Number 7. The End of Time, Chrono Trigger 
Square's 1995 SNES RPG classic Chrono Trigger has something of a time-travelling theme. As protagonist Chrono and his party of misfits, you'll hop between different points in time on a quest to stop gigantic space grub Larvos from destroying the world. As with most stories that feature time-travelling protagonists, things can be a bit complicated and paradoxy. Still, at least there's a convenient place that exists outside of time where the party can take five. Yes, this eldritch location, known simply as the End of Time, remains in an unchanged state throughout this epoch-spanning story, and contains convenient time portals to important events throughout history. Its limited decor consists of only a lamp-lit paved courtyard and the aforementioned portals, and the whole area is suspended over a strange blue void. The End of Time is truly a lonely and eerie place to spend eternity. Still, at least you'll have some company there. Gasper, also known as the Guru of Time, sounds like he'd be interesting to talk to. And Specchio, the self-titled Master of War, will let you test your combat skills. Chuck in a Weatherspoons and you've got all you need. Number 6. The Sphere. Prey. 2006. Back in 2006, the protagonist of Prey, a Cherokee man named Tommy, was hoping to enjoy an evening of jukebox music and slot machines in his girlfriend's bar. Unfortunately for Tommy, things were about to take a turn for the extraterrestrial. Sinister green tractor beams coming in from above can only mean one thing. Before long, Tommy finds himself on board a gigantic alien vessel known as the Sphere. Both biological and mechanical in nature, the interior of this craft seems to have the power to manipulate space and gravity, with gravitational pull flipping on a whim and seemingly small storage boxes leading to entire rooms. Perhaps most unsettlingly though, is the fact that Sphere seems to have some kind of manipulative consciousness. It's able to dominate the minds of alien races, and while the Sphere has a pilot of sorts, it becomes clear the ship is the one driving, able to override the pilot's goals, so they become concerned only with extending the sphere's existence. A giant spherical alien object that seems to affect the minds of those who can enter it? I feel like I've seen this movie before. I can't think of what it's called though. Number 5. The Oldest House – Control In 2019's Control, players take on the role of Jessie Faden. She's the new director of the Federal Bureau of Control, and she has to use her spooky powers to defeat the reality-invading force known as the Hiss. The game takes place in a massive building in New York known as the Oldest House, which also serves as the Bureau's headquarters, and this monolithic piece of brutalist architecture has some mysterious properties indeed. Despite being the size of a city block and dominating nearby buildings with its featureless walls and sparse minimal design, the Oldest House is completely imperceptible to the average human. Unless you already know it's there, you'll never notice it, even if you walk past it on your way to work every day. Creepy. Known in universe as a place of power, a location thought to be connected to a parallel dimension, the oldest house has impossible internal geometry and is filled to the brim with objects and artifacts with strange abilities and properties of their own. So, well done, Control. You actually managed to make a skyscraper that's weirder than the Empire Porky building. They said it couldn't be done. You did it! Bravo! Number 4. Renna – Tales of Arise Most of the locations on this list so far have been relatively small. A castle, some woods, a couple of buildings… you know, average stuff you'll see every day, but twisted in uncanny and disconcerting ways. 2021 action RPG Tales of Arise, however, would like to present Renna, a whole planet of physics-defying wrongness. The game follows Alphen, a strange man with mysterious origins, who set out on an adventure to unravel the enigmas of his world. Throughout the game, the planet of Renna can be seen in the sky, but remains a mystery until close to the end of the story. When you finally get to this distant sphere, you'll see that it's not quite as serene as it appears from below. A shattered and broken world, Renna's two most apparent features are a colossal beam of light, which is the planet's spirit sucking up astral energy from its neighbour, and an endless silvery ocean. It's kind of cool in a bleak and isolated way, until you learn the whole ocean is made of the remains of people, plants and animals that have had their life energy absorbed. Guess I'll put my swimsuit away then. Number 3. The Fade Dragon Age series in the Dragon Age series, the Fade is a mysterious realm beyond the veil. The Fade is shaped by dreams, and powerful minds may even be able to manipulate the realm while they sleep. Deities and demons are said to live in there, and given the right circumstances, it's even possible to pass physically through the veil. Once inside, 
The fade appears as a twisted landscape of dark, jagged rocks that are rich with veins of pure lyrium, a mysterious crystal with both dangerous and beneficial qualities. The laws of gravity change on a whim, and it's entirely possible to fall upwards or be flung sideways. The alien sky is in a state of perpetual night, and bizarre rock formations reach up into the green-tinted atmosphere. Most disconcertingly of all, though, is the enormous Black City. This enigmatic metropolis looms on a gigantic floating island, which is always visible on the horizon. No matter how far you travel, you can never get closer to it, but neither can you leave it behind, meaning the city is both inescapable and completely unreachable all at once. No one really knows what lies inside, but I'm betting it's nothing good. Best to just walk away from it, I say. Oh, wait, the whole always there thing. Number two, The Velvet Room, the Persona series. The Persona series has never been one to shy away from a reality warping realm or two. Persona 3 has Tartarus, a constantly changing tower that exists only during a mysterious dark hour that occurs unnoticed every night. Persona 4 has a world formed of humanity's collective unconsciousness that manifests inside television sets. Persona 5 has the Metaverse, where strange palaces are formed from people's twisted desires. Any of those could have made our list, but we went with one bizarre location that recurs throughout the series, the Velvet Room. Existing outside of time and space, and often inhabited by large-nosed, ambiguously human fellow Igor, the Velvet Room changes form across its various appearances. Originally a simple room with ceilings, walls and floors all lined with blue velvet, the place later shows up as a limousine interior, a prison, and even a constantly ascending elevator. While the purpose always remains the same, to manage and fuse personas, everything else about the room remains frustratingly unexplained. It is said to be located between subconsciousness and consciousness, but what does that actually mean? Who built the room? How does it change? Who is Igor and why is his nose so big? The last one especially bothers me. And number one, Silent Hill, the Silent Hill series. The thankfully fictional town of Silent Hill is in the North American state of Maine, at least the video game version is. Sitting in the northeast corner of the United States, Maine is famous for its winding roads through atmospheric pine forests, misty lakes, and the fact that pretty much every book by Stephen King is set there. Ideal for foggy, spooky tales, it only makes sense that Silent Hill be hidden somewhere amongst its vast woods and uninhabited wilds. Silent Hill is far more than just an isolated town with a spooky ambiance, though. Coming from the series of games that brought us shambling, faceless nurses and the man with the pointy head, it's no surprise the town itself seems to have an eldritch sentience all of its own. It's thought that Silent Hill has the power to call to people with darkness in their hearts, and then acts as a mirror for their internal doubts, fears, regrets, and delusions. Three versions of the town seem to exist in the same place. These include Real World Silent Hill, the unsettling Fog World, Silent Hill, where players will likely have to spend most of the game, and Otherworld Silent Hill, where anyone in their right mind would spend as little time as humanly possible. Truly, it is a reality-defying location indeed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a sudden and irresistible urge to book a flight to Maine. I'm sure nothing will come of it though.